Hey everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7 and uh, leave it to Smilegate to drop something massive. I think I haven't um, gone into this yet. I haven't read this yet. All blind. But uh, judging by the title, it's something massive. The day Mango decides to drink a little too much mango beer and pass out early. So we're we're a little bit, a little bit exhausted right now. But let's get into this. And I'm for sure, absolutely, positively going to read a lot of this wrong uh, in my current state. Just a fair warning. No getting mad at me. Uh, we'll fix it in the comments. So let's let's take a look and read this together. Hello. This is Epic 7. We would like to sincerely thank all of our heirs. Oh, before we get into this, I do want to mention a lot of their uh, stuff lately. Like a lot of their sweeping changes. Is that the right word? I feel like a lot of stuff is directed towards whales lately. Like it really feels that way to me. Um, whether it's through imprints, which aren't really like... Fully whales, people like me and you get benefit as well, but whales especially do. Um, so I, I feel like this is going to be less accessible for somebody like you or me, uh, and more for somebody that spends a lot of money. I might be completely wrong about this, and I'll leave this in even if I am, but I just wanted to say it before we get into this. So... Um, when you summon the same hero twice, you can memory imprint that hero, strengthening the hero's stats. There are some heirs that already have fully memory imprinted certain characters, and we realize the disappointment that our heirs may feel. Uh, we will introduce a coin shop. Okay, so when a player summons the same five star Moonlight or Covenant, so not just Moonlight, uh, more than a specified number of times, each additional summon will grant a certain number of galaxy coins or covenant coins. New currencies. The standard for the specified number of summons is as followed. Uh, so galaxy after summoning the same Moonlight Hero twice, you get 10. And covenants after summoning the same 5-star Covenant Hero 7 times, you get 8. So I think I have zero right now, judging by this list. Uh, what do y'all have out of curiosity? I have no dupes uh, ML5s yet, so I don't have any here. And I don't think I've summoned the same Covenant seven times yet. I think there's a couple. I might be at four or five, like Violet. I think I'm at about five, but um, I think... I don't think I, I actually hit any of the others. So if you've summoned Maid Hero, uh, Maid Chloe twice, you'll receive 10 galaxy coins along with your Maid Chloe. Yep. Uh, you will get her as well as receive eight Covenant coins after the seventh. Um, interesting. Okay, so when a duplicate Moonlight Hero is summoned... Oh, this is just going over it again. So number of summons, one, two, three, four, five... So on the 7th, um, they get the 8. So if a player summons a duplicate hero through an item provided from a purchase or covenant drop up, blah, 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 then they will obtain the hero and the coins. However, players will not be able to obtain coins for heroes obtained from the shop or exchange or for heroes obtained through recall. Okay, that makes sense too. So, uh, coin shop and details. The galaxy coin shop will be unlocked when you obtain galaxy coins after summoning the same Moonlight Hero. So, you can get a Ruel here for 40 coins, five, uh, level 85 accessory, um, Molagora for two, and you can buy two a month, it looks like. Reforging material chests. Uh, oh, they're going to go over it at the second. So, I just want to look at this here. So, it takes 40 duplicates to just buy the Ruel here and it looks like it's a different unit each rotation so it's kind of like a different uh, rotation every month and that is I believe four duplicates so if you have four duplicate ML5s you'll be able to buy a new ML5 but you'll have to wait until the ML you want is on this rotation I think so far I might say in a second here uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, reforging the designated moonlight hero will be changed on the first of every month. Yeah, okay, so 
Cool. Uh, the Covenant coin shop will be unlocked when you obtain Covenant coins, and it's the same thing. Rotates every month, but there's two instead of one. You can also get a Molagora for six. So one duplicate after the seventh, and you have enough for the Molagora. And eight duplicates after uh, the first, and you have enough for a duplicate, uh, or have enough to buy one of these units. Because it's 64, you get eight per. So yeah, eight after the initial duplicate. So in the Covenant coin shop, players can exchange. Uh, yep, it goes over the same thing here. So before exchanges, players can see the set effect and stats of the epic that is sold in the coin shop. Three random types of epic uh, equipment and accessories that can be obtained from hunts or crafting will be displayed and can be refreshed up to 30 times in one month. Number of refreshes will reset on the first day every month at server time. Okay, so um, this is massive. This is probably more massive to this than anything else because like let's be real here um we're not gonna get like people like us uh judging from this so far are not getting a new unit from this right like we're just not getting a new unit 64 coins to buy a new uh regular five star which will maybe happen in like a year for me which is still there and still a possibility and the moon knight one i will need four dupe ml5 so that that's a long time uh but for people that have the dupes already this is massive because um the people who have this amount of dupes already have all the other units right so um this means they're going to be able to zoom in on gear specifically and by the looks of things it's going to be a decently easy to get certain pieces of gear and you can purchase them here too so that seems pretty nuts to me like this seems pretty massive uh being able to uh re-roll a bunch of epics and this is one of the things in um another game which shall not be named uh did that made gear levels really different is they made it so you got more rolls at epic pieces of gear and this kind of feels like that, obviously a little less accessible, but is kind of interesting nonetheless that they chose to go this route. But when you think about this, uh, when I saw this, I was kind of confused why they added gear and then it made sense because like I've talked to a bunch of whales, people in this position um, that have dupes everywhere and they wouldn't care about more characters because they already have that, right? So to satisfy the whales, they need to add something like this, which is something they will never have enough of. So really interesting here. So according to the guidelines given above, we plan to provide Galaxy Covenant coins and a lump sum for duplicate heroes that our heirs have summoned so far in accordance with the coin shop update. Uh, following the update, the number of times a hero has been summoned will be displayed in the hero journal. I like that. That is my favorite thing to come out of this so far. I really like this idea having that in there. Uh, it really helps me out for people I've put dupes into Moonlights as well. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, we would like to apologize in advance for the fact that it may take considerable amount of time to complete a full investigation into all the heroes summoned by our heirs. Carry out a uh, careful investigation in order to provide our heirs with accurate details. Um, interesting. So I do want to mention again, um, I'm not trying to complain. I just like it's important to be... Uh, transparent for something like this is they've consistently been mentioning how much people want a dupe system to fix and like I, I feel like there were so many other things higher priority than that and they've apologized like in this thing and many other notes that it's taking so long which is kind of interesting to me because this is not an issue I have personally heard a lot of people complaining about um which is kind of kind of interesting to me you know like when i read this to to see what answers they're like what questions they're answering and what problems they're solving uh which is kind of interesting i'm also going to open my game here and we'll take a look at my duplicates and kind of see what i have and uh i'm really curious i'd like to know from everybody else too in the description below what duplicates you have and how many coins you have of each. Okay, let's go through our imprints here. My Riolet is at triple S. I think that's three violets and 
two slates or maybe something similar to that. So um, I have three, four summoned uh, regular violets here. My Vildred, my Tenebria is at A. Um, do I have any others at triple S here? Just out of curiosity, my Cerise is at triple S. So that means I have four or five Cerises and then I imprinted one. Um, Euphine, Corinne, Cecilia, B, uh, Dominial. Only works on five stars, by the way, not four stars. So it's not looking great for me. Uh, I don't think I'm any closer than four. Uh, four is my Violet. Uh, also to note, I've only summoned the one Araminta, I believe. Uh, anybody else have imprints here? Hammer and nope. Okay, so nobody else in my my area here has imprints. My Violet doesn't either, so that is the base four that we had. And then let's check out our storage here as well. Um, so my guess is for me to get a five-star hero, not talking about Moonlights, just specifically a five-star Covenant hero, I will have to summon um, eight as a base extra to get enough to buy the hero and then an additional three to get to the point no an additional two to get to the point where i'm getting a thing so it'll take me 10 violets for example before i get my next unit here so let's take a look at our storage we have ken um haste Kron. i forgot i got Kron. hey <laughs> i forgot about that that's kind of cool and as for our storage here, I know I have some Balance Zons. I think I have four of them or something like that. Oh, I do have a second Araminta. Cool. I have five Balance Zons. So he's actually the one I'm closest to here. And uh, look at all these Isarius I had ready for MLS area. I'm going to go cry. And yeah, so an account like mine who's been playing since day one that spent a bit of money at the start, haven't been spending much lately, is approximately... 10 ml or 10 covenant summon dupes away from buying a new unit so uh, i'm really curious to know where you folks are at and uh, let me know in the description or the comments below there thank you so much for watching feel free to like comment subscribe as always and i'll talk to you later bye everybody